Hey guys, Brian Holder here, Brian Holder Graphic Design. Stick around, I'm going to show you how you can make this price box using nothing but elements within WYSIWYG Web Builder 8. So to get started, what we're going to do is start with a blank page like we see here. And what I've done is I've laid this page out with three separate columns, uh, equally uh, equal in, in width, and the total width is 940 pixels of the page. Um, it's actually 960 pixels with uh, 20 pixels of padding here, 10 on each side. So the distance from this marker to this marker is 940 pixels, which is going to allow me to have a box for each price box. If I use four of them, I'm going to be able to have 235 pixels wide, which is what I'm going to set it at right now. Um, so what I'm going to start by doing is laying out the title top part, like what you would see right here, where it says bronze, plan, silver, gold, and platinum. So, we don't want this to be quite that tall. I'm going to scale this back and maybe go with a 60. That's not bad for a title. And we're going to soften this up a little bit. I'm going to use a bit of a softer gray. Well, it actually is darker. And we're going to definitely soften up that, that um, border. So that's not too bad right there. We're going to add some text into here, so we're just going to call this the first plan. And we're going to style this text up a little bit. We'll keep it keep it nice. We'll give it a Tahoma. Let's say maybe a 20. That's not too bad. We're going to use any lace text. We're going to center it up inside that box. Um, ba -dum -bum -bum. Let me check that before I forget. Okay. It's just a little bit too dark, so let's soften up that text a little bit. I'm going to make that part bold so it stands out just like what you saw in my example over on the other page. And that's it. First plan. Boom. Done. Control C, Control V. Now here's a little tip. You see how it, that happened? When I Control V and my mouse is within the working area of the page, you're always going to line up um, what you're pasting with where your mouse is located. See that? So if you wanted to paste this in place and have it paste directly over top of the one that's there, move your mouse off of the working area into like uh, the site manager or the properties area, and then hit Control V, and that'll paste it uh, directly in the in place. And now all you do is just use the arrow buttons, and you can move that over, and it'll it'll keep it in line with whatever you have, whatever you, you pasted the first time. Okay, so we will change this to the second plan. Control V, paste in this guy, slide it over, and we're going to do something a little bit different with this one because this is going to be where we feature the plan that we want people to buy. This is going to be the uh, most popular or the featured or my pick or whatever you want to call it uh, plan. So what we're going to do is we're going to make, I'm going to make this a little bit taller. I'm going to give it 80 pixels, oops, and we'll slide it up by 10. So we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay, we're going to call this the third plan. And while we're at it, I'm going to go ahead and just change this to white. I'm going to change the editor background color to just black just so I can see the text that's on there. Because I know that when I come to here, I'm going to change this to a blue color. I like Dodger blue. I don't know why. Something about Dodger blue. Not quite right. So let's go back to Dodger Blue. We'll go to more colors. Custom, we're just going to darken that up a little bit. Okay, looks good. Okay, so there's our third plan. And now we're just going to control C and control V on the second. We'll get our last plan in place. And that'll do it for the headlines. Do, 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 do. I know this is very boring to watch this thing just scroll across the screen. I should just drag it over, but too late now. Okay, so we'll change this to the fourth plan. Okay, so that's now that's set up. Now what we're going to do is set up our price area, which you can put this at the bottom if you wanted to, closer to the button. Um, you can set this up any way that you want now that you see how we're doing it. Uh, these 
got shifted slightly, so I gotta move back over here. There we go. So for the price, what I'm gonna do is change the background color. I'm gonna go to white, and I'm gonna lighten the. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna lighten up that border slightly as well. Let's see what that looks like. That's not bad. I like it. I'll go with that. So for the price, we're just going to put in uh, $1.99, something like that. And I'm going to put in, I always try to put in a term. People like to see that. So per month, and we'll throw in our asterisk, let people know there's a little bit more to it than just what they're seeing. Okay. We'll unbolt that. Maybe we'll make this just a tiny bit lighter shade so it's not quite as obvious. That's not, that's not too bad there. So why don't we... Uh, Make this a little bit taller. Maybe go 70 on this one. I think we got two lines. I'm actually just going to go ahead and delete these out. All right, so Control C, Control V. Now we got a grid started here. Okay. Got something to kind of base this on. I don't to... That's not bad. All right, so our second plan. Let's say it's 3.99. Right. A little bit more. Paying a premium there. So, now what we're going to do is go back to our Dodger Blue. We're actually just going to make it slightly lighter. Maybe someplace in there. And I think I'll actually just delete this, the, the Dodger Blue color. And then our text, like I said, we'll change this to black so that I can see the text. This goes to white. And what are we at? Five ninety nine, I guess. Like that. There's that. And then our final plan. Text. Do, 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 do. Seven ninety nine. Go for two bucks every time. Okay, so that's that. Now what we're gonna do. I'm going to copy these now. Yeah, I'll copy these. I'm going to copy these ones. Indecisive. Copy those, bring it back down. And I actually want to make them, take them back to the 60 that I had before. I know some people might be concerned that I'm actually using images to build this price table because these, this text is going to convert to an image once we publish it. But that's why you have this alternate text here. You can put in $1.99 per month in that alternate text. Well, and then that's that'll be displayed, A, if this image doesn't display, but it'll also be displayed to the search engines for uh, your search engine optimization efforts if, if you're trying to keep up with that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to throw in a feature of some kind. Um, so why don't we say that maybe we're a web host and we're going to say that we come with, this plan comes with two gigabytes of disk space. Oh, I spell that right. Oh my goodness. I butchered that. How did I go that bad? There's that. What am I actually do instead of having to redo the formatting every time? I'm just going to copy and paste. So that plan comes with two, so maybe this plan comes with ten, perhaps. I don't know, I'm just making this up. Ten, maybe this one comes with fifty. And this has to be white. This guy comes with a hundred. Copy and paste those. We're just going to slide them down. Maybe we got uh, twenty gigs of bandwidth. This one again, so I'll have to do 
actually changing the color. But I say for that one 100, so maybe this one's 150. And so on and so forth. We could we could list uh, features all day long. So now what we're going to do here is just grab these guys again. Control C, Control V. Bring them back down. And I'm going to make them tall, real tall. So maybe 100 pixels tall. text from the center here, and all of them, because we're going to be making way for a button, a clickable button here. Here's the text, here's the text, here's the text. Alrighty. So, if you didn't check out my tutorial on how to make a button using a shape, you're going to get a little refresher here. Um, so what we're going to do is just, I'm not going to really walk you through, I'm just going to go real quickly here. Um, oh, backwards on that. So there's that, and then there's the Dodger Blue, which is that one. Water's dark, enable hover mode. Dark blue, dark blue, dark blue. Looks good. Text. Find now. Oh, Dodger. Highlight that. Tahoma. Yeah, we'll say 12. Like, you know, 16. White. Need any lace. Center it up. Okay, looks good by now. Um, 150, yeah, that's good. And I think 50 in height is probably good. So I'm just going to eyeball these. I'm not going to try to line them up and make them perfect here. I'll show you why here in a second. I'll get them all the same top. No way, I had them right the first time. Right the bed. That's crazy. Alright, so that's all set. Now we're going to change this button here. We're going to make this kind of an orange, I think. And actually, you know what? I'm going to go more of a red orange. Yeah, I like that. Alright, so when you hover, we'll just make it all dark orange. Actually, you know what? Order like that. Text white, I guess, is okay. Yeah, it's not bad. All right, so there's that. So now we're starting to see the meat and potatoes of this here. So let's take a look at this in the browser. And you see, this actually loads my header and links and my show scroll and all this stuff. And this is uh, because I'm using a master frame. Uh, I'm going to try to get to a master frame tutorial here in the future for you guys. So stay tuned for that. Let me see my buttons work. Nice rollover effect for the buttons. Well, now what we're going to do is add some uh, some fancy effects here to these. Um, so what I'm going to do is drag out a new shape, about the size of this uh, this box here. I'm going to keep it just a tiny bit smaller, just so that I can see the box behind it. And we're going to have to resize this in a minute again, anyway, so it doesn't have to be perfect. What I'm going to do is come over here to Effects, and I'm going to give it a Gaussian blur. Okay. I'm not really going to mess with the effects too much. They, they tend to work out pretty good with a, with a blur of 10 and an opacity of 50. And we're going to hit OK. You see that box gets a little bit smaller. Now, like I said, we're going to drag it out again. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. As long as it's smaller than the box that's below it, the blue box here, you can see the edges of it. So drag that out. So sorry about that little glitch there. I got held up with this 15-minute cap on the recording here. Uh, so basically, what we do now is 
that we, we were going to have this little shadow, we're going to send this all the way to the back. Um, so on the Windows PC, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down Control, and I'm going to push the minus button on the um, keypad. And it's going to send it all the way to the back. So you'll see here now that the shadow's back there. It does some kind of weird things up here along these edges because these are on top of the shadow. So what we have to do is just move all of these back um, behind the shadow. So I'm going to hit do the same thing, control minus on all of these individual pieces here. Control minus, control minus, control minus. And so what you can see happening now that is this, the uh, shadow is starting to take form and it makes this blue box appear to almost hover over the top of the rest of the price box. And that's about it. That's as far as I went with my price box right here. Um, but you could certainly go a little bit further and do some stuff. Maybe instead of having this be a square, one of the things we can do is come down to this shape at the bottom. And uh, let's see here. Where is it? Someplace there is a... It's, there it is. It looks like a tab. And you can control each individual corner. So I'll turn off everything except for the top left, and let's say we'll make that 10, okay? And we can do the same for this individual corner on this particular one here. We'll find the tab, there it is, and we'll turn off the top ones, make the bottom left, turn that into a 10, hit OK, and you can see what happens is that it now rounds off this corner and this corner here, and it makes it makes the whole thing look a little bit rounder and you can then you could do that for the corners on the blue and then this corner here and that's about it so again stay tuned uh, coming up for my master frame tutorial I'll show you how to do all that um, I can show you how to do anything in this program so if you got any questions email me Brian dot holder B R I A N dot holder H O L D E R at Zoho dot com get on my website I got a contact page you can find me there and ask away, and I'll answer your questions. Alrighty? Hey, listen, thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. You can check me out online, bjholder.com. And if you want to check out more great WYSIWYG web builder tutorials, visit bjholder.com slash WWB. Thanks. Have a great one.